Hortense and Marie Mancini were the two nieces of Cardinal Mazarin in France, and when he died in 1669, he made them his heirs of quite a bit of money. The Mancini sisters were notorious for a couple of reasons. One, because both of them left their husbands, and women just didn't do that at the time. The other thing was that these women basically went traveling by themselves, and that was another thing that women didn't do at the time. I mean, you just didn't travel around uh, by yourself. Sure, she had some servants with her, but she wasn't accompanied by a man who was going to be in charge of her. The interesting thing is that both of the Mancini sisters sort of took advantage of their traveling lifestyle and they wrote memoirs. And Hortense's, which is the first one to be published, was the first memoir that was actually written by a non-royal woman um, in France. And it turned out to be extremely popular, probably, you know, might be a bestseller like we would have today. Um, and then her sister also wrote a memoir, but it, they were so popular that somebody started writing fake memoirs and the one that we have on display in the exhibition is actually a fake memoir and I didn't know this until our rare book cataloger was working on it and he came up to me one day and he said did you know that this really isn't the real memoir? This is one that was published to imitate Marie Mancini's memoirs because they were so popular at the time. In her travels Hortense Mancini ended up in London where she became a patron of the arts. She opened a salon at her home for literary people and also gaming tables. She was a great gambler. And Susanna Santlever, the playwright, came to know about Hortense and her gambling, and she used her as inspiration when she wrote her play, The Bassett Table, which the Folger is putting on as the gaming table.